just going up the beach at um, Tiwa. It's um, a very long beach on the way to Double Island Point. There's quite a few people here. Uh, the tide is coming in. <laughs> it's getting pretty high. Can't see very much. Um, those lights up ahead are just other cars. Some going up, some coming back. It's a very strange time to be coming back. Nine o'clock on a Friday night. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Yeah, but wouldn't you go home on the low tide? Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> no, it's not high tide, but it's a couple of hours after the low tide. So I don't know. Anyway, maybe they went fishing for the day or something. Here's the driver, Frank. Having fun. Am I supposed to look at the road? Yes, look at the road. No. <laughs> Stop it. And um, yeah, he, it's like driving in those little tracks, those little old cars at Dreamworld where they have their own little tracks. <laughs> you hop into someone's wheel tracks and then you're just kind of guided by those tracks. Quite funny. Not really. <laughs> sort there's of. There's too many tracks. Yeah, there's a lot of tracks. There's a lot of tracks. You can't yeah. pick a track. And lots of course, of coming out. lots of young fellas. Flying. Lots of young bucks tonight. A lot of big, hotted up, big trucks and things. A lot of fancy lighting, and one of them even had different coloured lights around his mudguards under the truck. Go figure. Yeah, go figure. For the disco. <laughs> and we ran into a young fella on the um, on the ferry with the the classic mullet haircut. It was great. Straight out of the 1970s. Hey, he's going. Where he's going? <laughs> it was great. He was going to a double 18th birthday party, but he was going to check out the boss's property on the way or something. Nice young kid. Very friendly. All right. Yeah, he was a good lad. Yeah. Good 70s boy. My era. Yeah, that's it. The good kids. Yeah. How you going? Yeah. How you going, We're mate? Up to, mate. Where you off to? <laughs> it's lovely. All right, well, there's not much to see here, so that's it from us for now. Um, we'll show you a lot more over the weekend. Up at Tiwa Sands, which is um, Tiwa Beach, which is just north of Noosa. So we took the Tawantan Ferry over. Had some fish and chips and a Bundaberg drink. I don't think Sharon really wanted to be a little bit nervous about coming up the beach in the Well, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we could have just stayed in a hotel and not be tackling the incoming tide with fish and chips in my belly <laughs> and a Bundaberg pineapple something or other. Pineapple coconut, it was very nice it's actually. It's only half at the It just needs... Um, what? Yeah, this is half a tide, yeah. This, yeah. So we've had the low tide and now it's turned and it's coming in again and it's a couple bored. of hours. Let's not bore the people with our domestic issues. <laughs> okay, bye for now. There we are, our wish luck is Sharon, unpack <laughs> the table. We've just arrived. Oh, yeah, we haven't done it for two years. Top I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, I did it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see? Oh. That made you, I cursed you. <laughs> That's you, that foot on the table. Great <laughs> technique, excellent technique. It's working. Pushing the button, you've got it worked out. I'll push the buttons alright. <laughs> Perfect, and, see? Uh, flips it over now and it's all sandy. Yeah, you got a better way to do it? Yeah, okay. I do actually. You can do the next one. Good. Look at that. Perfect. Why is it not locking? It is. Okay. You stick the red switch over. It never locks really. Well. Okay. See? Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Nothing like a bit of grit. <laughs> oh, a bit of grit into your meal. It's always good. Something crunchy in there. Ta -da! Typical beach camping. Dinner is served. <laughs> At least there's no flies. I suppose that's a problem. It's all good. Uh, you can probably hear the waves crashing in the background. The waves are amazing. Yeah. And there's beautiful stars in the sky. 
those beautiful hill two hours back. And he's up to you can see the Milky Way. I think you can see the star. I think it's a big cloud. Yeah. It's lovely. See the Milky Way? I'm sure you can see them, yeah. Montana's trees. They might be very busy. They're going to be spinning these flippy things. They'll be mean to say. There she is. Hooray for Hollywood! Friends da, 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 this year, anything da, da, da. for a bit of a, you know, <laughs> put a camera on her and that's it. And this day will begin. And that's when the clothes will be coming off. Okay. <laughs> See? <laughs> Can't trust her. Just practicing. Alright. Uh, I'm How getting there. I don't think I can see too much with this little head torch. Apparently you can cook them. Mm, great. The Aboriginal people used to cook them, but there's a oh, special a method. Yeah. And then there's a whole bunch of seed pods on the ground that have fallen off. Right here. There's a bandana seed. Just there, off that. That one's immature, and this is from a mature one that's actually come apart. But I forget, I'd have to look it up. I'd forget how to cook them, but there is a method that they used to use. Well, that'll give you something to do. Yes. We'll have pandemics for breakfast. See how sick we can get. No, no, I think right. you just got to boil them. Okay, the rooftop tent is up. And yes, it's functioning. We're going to have to Yeah, it's good. The fridge is going, things are still work. Yep. My old girl did a magic job, came up with beach as usual. Didn't want to say too much. And I'm not talking about Sharon, I'm talking <laughs> about the car. Sharon was just scared the whole way. No, oh, it's not. Oh, God. What was I scared of? Everything. What's well, not? He's a car, kid. He's a bump. <laughs> well, there was a car behind us that you didn't see. Oh, uh, yeah. The second one. We just about to try to get the rest of it set up, sit down and have a cup of tea and put the go to bed. Yes. And maybe good. have a maybe have a cold beverage before we do that. Woo! Oh, scotch or <laughs> I couldn't think I deserve it. Anyway, see ya. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful morning. Look at this. I always want to be anywhere else in the world. Tiwa. Tiwa Beach. Double Island Point, North of Noosa. That's it, that's from the teacher. <laughs> I have to give you exact directions here. That's it. One half do the lesson. And it's stunning as usual. Master Chef. Master Chef, look at that. When you're camping, you've got to get creative. So I've just taken the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes and popped it in with the steak, and now I'm tossing the potatoes in there. Very clever. Master Chef. And I'm a happy boy for taste good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Well, let's get up for the night. We've had a lovely day. Crazy windy, absolutely all day. Good 20 knots of northwest wind. Freezing cold for some reason. It's cool. And um, 
Yeah, it's been a bit nippy. And I don't know if you can see, I've got the coat on and the whole bit. This is spring. It's a bit of a wild show for uh, Brisbane. This is spring. A bit too um, chilly for the boat. And I caught a fish. Oh, yes. A little itty bitty fish. <laughs> a little whiting. And we had a beautiful hole or gutter marked on the beach. We're going to go down and fish. The two guys fall in, oh. pull up their truck, and the next thing they jump out and they start catching whiting one after the other. And the hole was only little, we couldn't push in. It no. was just too rude. And, oh. They just beat us by 10 minutes. How disappointing was that? Like, they <laughs> it walked was. away with a good you know, dozen of good whiting yeah. in the bag, cleaned them up and took off, and then the hole, the um, gutter was you know, drained out. Yeah. And I wasn't worth trying to fish. But in the morning, we're going to have a crack at it. We'll so get it in the morning. Never know. So here we are. All set up. Just about to have some dinner. I know it might be a bit dark. We might see some of that. Just past sunset. Evening stars starting to come out. Everybody's quieting down for the evening. And it is absolutely delightful as usual. To our beach. Saturday night, dinner's on, just finished the red wine and the red wine and the bickies, now we're settling into uh, a couple of steaks and a couple more reds, and I don't know what happens after that. Scrabble? Oh god, no way in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway. Yeah, it's good night from her and it's good night from Hi. me. See ya. It's on the scrabble. <laughs> That's it. Look at our view. That's our morning view. It's a five star view, Frank. <laughs> five, I think. Not bad. What do they call it? A million dollar view. A million dollar view, that's it. Uh, $27 a night. <laughs> Pretty good. And that's including the um, vehicle permit. Oh, vehicle permit's extra. Okay. And then split hairs on the other few dollars. Oh, okay. I thought the camping was six dollars a person or something. Hey, anyway, that's my maths. Not good. No, <laughs> teach. What's my job? Teacher. <laughs> It's very busy up here. There's already people going going up the beach and down the beach on the low tide. And we're going to go and do a bit of fishing. Yeah. See if we can find a nice gutter out there. A couple of girls have already had a dip in the surf. Good on them. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah. That is beautiful. That's amazing. for the King's Tourer um, rooftop tent and this has been a, a pretty good piece of kit I mean it's had some issues but it's still holding together as it's sat on the truck for look over four years now um, it's still in pretty good nick it's done a few trips it's kept us dry safe and warm which we love um, we've had some bits and pieces of issues with it with some strap failures that have uh, been easy to rectify, but nevertheless probably shouldn't have. One of those was the straps under here. Um, they just rotted, basically. And I cut some uh, other straps I had around the place and put it on. It's just to strap the tent down when you fold it up. Um, the tent itself is in, in still in good condition. Uh, even the cover's still in fairly good condition, needs a bit of a, you know, some armour all at the moment. Has, it needs a bit of a wash and armour all, but it is what it is. But it sat on the truck for four years, been in the sun, on the truck, 
for at least four years, done multiple trips and is still holding together quite well. Um, we're pretty impressed with it. A lot of people give them a hard time, but you know, from the price in comparison to some of the, you know, paying double, three times the price for rooftop tents, it hasn't done a bad job. As I said, kept it safe, warm, and, and very cozy in winter up there. In summer, take all the windows down, you get a beautiful breeze up high and a great view out the back in the mornings if you can set the truck up to face the ocean like we have at the moment. It's absolutely delightful in the morning to wake, wake up to a view like that. Here's my old daughter, the mermaid, and she loves it. She loves her little rooftop tent. Again, we've had some bits and pieces of issues, but you know, nothing more than you have with most things you buy. Um, yeah, she's going to take you upstairs and give you a look inside. There you go. Hi everyone, I'm just heading up into the rooftop tent from Kings, continuing our review, Crusaders Against Plastic. Okay, so it's pretty easy even for 60 year olds to get up. The ladder just makes you feel like being a kid again, really. and curses all the way up. So here we are in the rooftop tent and here is our beautiful view. Look at this. This is amazing. Out the window um, we've got a little awning there which creates a lovely cool breeze. So in the morning we wake up and we're looking at that and then there's windows in the tent so you can make it as cool as you want. We've never been hot in this tent. Um, we've never been cold. It's been great. But I'll just show you the issue with the straps that we've sort of um, repaired. So these straps go up and over, if you can see that, and they pretty much, they're not structural, as in they're not holding the weight of the floor or anything, but they do keep the tent nice and, and uh, taut. So this one um, broke. So you can see there I've stitched it with embroidery cotton. Um, so they sent us one spare strap um, because we told them both straps broke and we just cut a piece of that and embroidered it on. So that's an option if you've got someone who can do a bit of stitchery. Um, the problem is on the other side, the stitching held together, but the actual strap has broken. So uh, the stitching's there, but the actual strap has given way because that strap is, is like, I'm, I can tear it now with my thumb. So <laughs> the actual strap needs replacing. So we'll probably have to do that uh, or put you know a fair bit of an extender on this side and stitch that up would be the easiest option otherwise you've got to pull everything apart um, and put the whole strap through so but it's great the mattress is good we tend to put um, just a one more thick sleeping bag on top of it just to soften it up a bit um, it's about it's about uh, yeah 50 mil bit bit more maybe 80 so but it's quite good and and the fabrics hard wearing we haven't had any problems with staining it's very easy to just brush off the sand and once again we've got that beautiful view to enjoy out the window look at that so we love it yeah so all in all it's been a really good tent thank you kings there you go frank down to you <laughs> yeah guys so that's it it's easy to get up in and out. There she is in her little uh, little nest My hole. House. She loves it. Like, like being a kid again, a little cubby yeah. house. Tree now we, house. Al we also had the awnings. We put those on. There's a couple of awnings we put on as well. And um, I'll just okay. show you those. It's a bit hard to get around. We're on the beach at the moment. Up at TY Beach in Queensland. It's a small awning we put over the back, over the back doors, and that's our cooking area. And it's been great. It's uh, they work pretty well. I mean, they, we haven't had any too many issues with them at all. The um, the system still works. The poles still slide. They're starting to show some wear and tear now. But again, it's been four years, so we haven't been on the road for four years. But intermediate use, you know, weekends, weeks away, that type of thing. The larger tent is starting to have some issues in respect that the Volco keeps coming off, which is rather annoying because it's flapping around in the breeze. 
Now, there's a fair bit of wind today, as you can probably hear, but these straps uh, won't hold anymore. So inevitably they'd have to be probably replaced with a new bit of strapping um, if so denied. But the rest of the, the actual workings of the, the system work fine. The um, zippers are all still working fine. Now this has been in the sun, in the weather for at least four years solid. So, you know, this truck's not kept under under cover, so we're in a garage. It's actually been out in the open. And it's, uh, yeah, it's still all holding together. Still works. It's a good little setup for what we've been doing. We're looking at something different, a new truck setup. The old GU, where you can't go past the GU, Nissan GU, top old truck. This is the 4.8 petrol, more power than you'll ever need. But it's a good truck. But the uh, King's products, yeah, not too bad. They've held together. You know, people give them a hard time, but they're at the lower end of the budget. If you can't afford the big names, these things will uh, do you well for a long, a long time. And they work fine. They actually seem to hold together and work fine. Uh, hopefully, they're improving their quality as they they uh, go forward, which is a good thing. I don't know. Check the current reviews. We don't because we've got them already. But yeah, haven't lasted too badly, haven't done too badly. Here she is again, pulling things apart. We're about to pack up and stop poking your tongue, you naughty little girl. Jeez, I tell you. Once she gets up there, this comes out, I know. Yeah, see? Oh, lovely. That's what people want to see you poking your tongue. Anyway. Frank from Crusaders Against Plastic, soon to be Crusaders for Sustainability. And here's the mermaid. Yes, we're doing a bit of a clean up. We're up at Tiwar Beach and we're just doing a quick clean up of around the sites with next to and hours of stuff that had been left laying around. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We've just walked 100 <laughs> metres and yeah. fishing bag. That's, that's, that's so far, that's Cans, just here. Bottles. That's not including yesterday's. Yeah. There's a bit more going more. in. Thank you. But it's amazing. It's amazing what you find laying around. And they, you know, people have cleaned up a lot to what they yeah. used to be like, but it's still not good. You know, before you leave, grab a bag from uh, of rubbish and take it with you. Yeah, I mean, there's some stuff we just can't pick up because we don't know what's on there. There's toilet paper and stuff. I'd say that's the bathroom. Oh, it's that. a bit gross, some of us. You know, people should learn how to dig a hole. You know, all you need to do is put it in a hole. And some of his old shirt, by the looks of it. Are you going to miss that or not? Doesn't look too crash hard. It's probably an old rag or something. But anyway. <laughs> uh, it's a bit tattered and torn, even. Yeah, but you know. Even to recycle, it's a bit tattered and torn. Here we go, we'd have a What's little this? quick look at it. I don't know, but it looks like toilet paper. Oh, no. Oh, it is, okay. I wouldn't be touching that one. No, I won't be touching that, but I'll pick up the plastic. Plastic, for sure. <coughs> a lot of plastic. And well, these are beautiful it. areas, and you know, we got to look after them. Oh. Yeah. Except when you get, sorry, that looked a bit wild. I was getting a prickle out of my foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh god. Holy crap. Yeah, I, even I don't even know paper. what this is toilet paper or just pieces of stuff thrown around. They don't bother to bury it though. Plastic, old bloody fireplace things. Oh my god. Look, we're not going to touch the toilet paper no, and stuff. No. And, oh, watch your head, watch sweetie. Your head. No toilet paper. Uh, the plastic will try and get rid of as much of that as we can because that yeah. probably does the worst. It is the worst thing of the world. Yeah, it's not hard to dig a pit toilet, you know, just dig a hole. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Yeah, and this isn't good. Somebody's old brazier. Brazier, I mean, that'll rust away, but still, there's no need to leave that here. It's, it's repairable. It's actually, yeah, it's, well, whatever, but you still don't leave it here, just, just take one it. one rivet. <laughs> Put it in a recycle bin somewhere. I don't know what that is, but anyway. I don't know if we can fit them in. We'll try. 
So we brought the log up here to cut up for firewood and that's where it stayed. Or it's floated in I'd say, sorry. Looks like that's a bit of driftwood or something that's floated in. They've tried to use it for a bit of firewood. I gotta learn to focus the camera instead of looking at it myself. Perfect little brazier. Anybody out there want to give me some training on photography? I'm well open to any <laughs> opportunities. Stop tripping over things. <laughs> uh, oh God, what a mess. Toilet paper's a disaster. There like, is bits of hole. toilet paper and napkins and stuff all over the China. Hopefully it'll break down. But that's not being dug up by animals. No, that's just been thrown it's away. It's just tossed aside. Anyway, we'll have a little bit more look around, we'll call it quits. Yeah. But, gets, you know. It gets a bit annoying after a while. You just get cranky with people. But um, we'll find out the name of that bag, that bag that you can Oh, get. I can't remember. It comes from yeah. um, Drifter. Yeah. Um, Drifter four-wheel drive gear. Yeah. Camping yeah. gear and four-wheel drive gear. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of bigger, um, you know, YouTubers and things sponsoring it from Tripper to Van. Yeah. To uh, four wheel drive 24 7. These guys are all been um, promoting it. Unfortunately, I left mine at home. I was going to bring them and I forgot them, left them on the bench, of course. Yeah. But, you know, grab a couple, eight bucks, I think it is, just yeah. to get them shipped to you. Two yeah, bags, okay. resealable. You can fill them up, empty yeah. them up, two bags, clean up your area before you leave. And uh, yeah, and try and make a difference. Be that change you want to see in the world, eh? You want know, these people to change will be them to change show them that there is a way to do it that we don't want to clean up their rubbish but we're prepared to do it because we want to see them change and lead by example is the most important part of all as we tell our kids lead by example yeah that's see that's the teach reckons lead by example that's it. so we're gonna have a crack at that we're gonna pick up some more rubbish in this beautiful spot as you can see and uh, then we're going to hit the toe out of here and on to the next adventure see ya hi there sharon from crusaders against plastic soon to be crusaders adventures of sustainability sustainable adventures that's it <laughs> i couldn't think of it um <laughs> take two not <laughs> so um we're here at beautiful tiwa beach just uh, north of noosa south of double island point but just around our campsite, we picked up all of it. So we've got, you know, beer cans and old rope and bits of styrofoam, bits of rubber, plastic bags, beer bottles, you know, um, somebody's chocolates, more bottles up in the bush. The thing is, the number of bottles I see up in the bush when I go up to do a wee, you know they've they've gone up to have their wee and they just chuck their bottle in the bush you know that's really frustrating we're starting to notice some trends there's always straws there's about three beer bottles in there just bits of old bucket and you know that no one could be bothered picking up the usual um cable ties bit of fishing line um yeah it's crazy what you find if you just hunt around little cans that have been flattened or run over but nobody could put them in a bin yeah, it's just that's that's a whole bag full um, in one campsite, and then we just went over to the next campsite and cleaned up after the neighbours and people before them, and filled another bag the same size, the fishing bag, full of rubbish, just other people's rubbish. Yeah, it's sad. It's like just pick up after yourself, people. It's not hard. I'll pick up. Once you've finished yeah, on the campsite, a, a do a scout. quick clean up around the campsite yeah. and help everybody out, you know? Yeah. Do your bit. Yeah. Do your bit. Be and the change. Keep yeah. This place beautiful. Yeah, look at it. Oh my goodness. Why don't you want to keep this in good nick? We yeah. all want to keep it in good nick. We want to keep it clean, tidy and free of rubbish and try not leave a disgusting legacy for our children and grandchildren. Yeah. Alright guys, thanks for listening. See ya. Bye. So here we are finishing up our weekend at Tiwa Beach, which is uh, north of Noosa. That's Noosa just over there. Can I see it? <laughs> yeah, there it is. And um, behind us is, um, <laughs> what's that, a statue of a... I don't know. 
looks like a skeleton in high vis with a fishing rod or something. Okay. It's obviously someone's indicator of where they can. I mean, you can't camp there, but anyway, yeah, just a bit of a fun statue. Uh, here's the driver. It's Frank. Did you have a good time, Frank? I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. it's wonderful up here. Always wonderful. A little bit busy weekend. Yeah. Young fellas all over the place, and they're flying past me at the moment in the big <laughs> rush to have to beat everybody to nowhere. To the ferry. To the ferry. I don't know. They yeah, they got to they got to get on the ferry before you. Is that where it is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I'll let them do that. <laughs> all right, and um, yeah, good surf. Look at that. Great surf. Should have bought a boogie board. I just had a dip today. Finally, it's very cold at the moment in the water. It's September. And um, all weekend I've been looking at it and thinking about it. I finally did one after our pack up because I was warm enough. And, and so this is still a little bit of a high tide. Are we heading, tide's heading out now? Yeah. Tide's on the way out. On the way out. You can see how much wind is up here by the amount of sand moving oh, yeah. around. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but the sand flying around. Mm. Oh, you can see it, I think, yeah. There's been a lot of sand whipping around. Um, yeah, it was sort of central station up here, but we found a nice quiet little spot. And the waves, you know, drown out most of the noise. Um, there were a couple of parties last night. One of them up the road a bit had firecrackers, <laughs> as you do. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. But anyway, no, we, and we caught a couple of fish and we had those for breakfast this morning, a couple of whiting. Yeah, that was yummy. Frank's was twice the size of mine. <laughs> How'd you manage that? Oh, as it should be. As it should be, yeah. You're the fisherman. I'm the novice. Uh, what else did we do? We didn't go anywhere because we had the rooftop tent, so we're all set up. And we had so much wind uh, when we were packing up. We sort of a couple of holes on the awning bent, and we'll have to fix those. And... Well, I lifted the whole awning up. Oh, it did. It over the top Big of the gust, truck, yeah. Like it didn't do any damage. Yeah, I that's hope right. I didn't see any of it. No damage to the um, morning but it can be straightened out. Oh now you can see Noosa, all the people up in the hills there. Wow, it's busy isn't it? A lot of development. I haven't been into Noosa for years. So yeah, that's it from us. It was a good weekend. It was just great to get away and get back to nature. Caught some pippies this morning. That was fun. And uh, yeah, did some fishing, did some relaxing. That it? Oh, this, after, uh, this morning we um, picked up a lot of rubbish around the beach just to help clean up the environment. Everyone should do that. Grab a bag and pick up some rubbish before you leave. We didn't create any rubbish, but we certainly picked up some <laughs> other people's rubbish, but that's what we do. Crusaders Against Plastic. Uh, soon to be Crusaders Sustainable Adventures. That is still a fairly high tide down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit different than tide level. Yeah. Down, it's a narrow beach. So, yeah. mm. so we'll soon be getting on to the Twanton Ferry, but I'd say there's going to be quite a queue. We did consider going up the beach and going back through Freshwater Rainbow Beach, uh, which is a really beautiful bush track uh, that we've been on before, but that'll add that would add a couple of extra hours to the trip. So, so we'll just go this way and deal with the queue when we get there. Play I Spy yeah, or something. I don't, I don't Hopefully not too bad. So, it's goodbye from him. It's goodbye from her. <laughs> and keep being the change that you wish to see in the world, hey? Definitely. Yes. Okay, well said. Here we go. We're going to come off the beach in a ticky wick. Oh, we should show that, shouldn't we? Well, you can if you want. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun, the run. I don't think it would be too bad. I isn't down here. you sort of got to pick your line, you know, pick your tracks to follow and... and uh, Give it some revs, you can see this fellow doing it now. Give it some really good revs and this this Nissan has no trouble. Here goes the next fella. And remember four-wheel drive? Yes. Oh yeah, four-wheel drive, put it in four-wheel drive. Obviously before you come on the beach you power down your tires, you air down your tires, so take a bit of air out of them. What's this fella doing? Is he uh, waiting he for something? Wave oh, do you wave you on, did he? Here we go. All vehicles must exit here, and it's super slippery through here. And then you pick your line, keep your revs up. Well done, driver. <laughs> when you're 
are off. And there's even road signs. <laughs> a road crossing for horses and, um, oh, that's a track, okay. And hikers. So, there we go. Now we'll say goodbye. Goodbye, Frank. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, everyone.